Hey kiddies, this video is for anyone who's got one of the older uh, Roland SC500s or CJ units, uh, whether it's been converted over to uh, solvent or EcoSol links or not, it doesn't matter. But <clears throat> what I wanted to show was that I put a heating unit in this and it's so quick and simple and it was only 180 bucks to do this. This is the heat strip right here and I've got it mounted with uh, fiberglass tape as uh, they recommended from the manufacturer and it's right on the, the edge of the platen where the uh, vinyl feeds over and so it heats up the whole apron going all the way back and everything it takes about 20 minutes to get it up to temperature completely um, but this is it comes with a controller unit and this is it right here and it's adjustable from 50 degrees to 450 degrees and uh, then I just run that back through on the side channels here from my rollers and down over to an outlet but uh, this is working out absolutely beautiful um, I marked off my my temps here in various zones it's not totally consistent. Like right over here in the 54 inch uh, range, it's about 115 degrees. Uh, right in here, it's about 118. Here, 117. 118. Yeah, and this is in the last two foot, or the beginning two foot area of the uh, apron here. And uh, 114 right there. But uh, I'm pretty happy even though those numbers vary a little bit. Um, it's made like some jobs like this right here. I, I had a lot of problems with yellows, eating blacks or dark greens. And uh, it just without the heaters, it just would bleed all over and everything. And uh, so kick those heaters on and it's a flawless, perfect razor sharp print. No bleeding or anything like that. Um, I got the uh, heat strip. It's a six footer, and I got it from Granger.com. Um, they're actually one of our industrial suppliers. Um, and again, it was 170. It was 170. If you pay sales tax, it's going to be about 180. Um, but it's working out absolutely beautiful. And then the uh, top apron just. Oops. trying to hold the camera sometime. Just ah, well you see what I'm doing just caps right over but I've seen a lot of stuff on uh, various forums signs 101 and a lot of the others there people are going doing all these elaborate funky things and everything but this is so quick and straightforward it's well worth 180 bucks the heat strip just works flawless. Okay, so hopefully this might help out someone uh, who's bought one of these and is converting it over to uh, solvent or EcoSol inks and needs heaters. So, enjoy. Thanks for watching, kitties. Bye.